Yo, what's up, everybody? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you guys talking about tank moving up, moving up in weight class to fight somebody else. I keep telling you, when fighters move up in weight class, they do it for a number of reasons. But the main reason they do it is because they don't want to watch their weight no more. They're not in prime condition. They're lazy. They're old. Hello. How you doing? Well, they do it for money. When Alexis Aguero got beat by Aaron Pryor, Alexis Aguero was moving up. When uh, when Tommy Hearns got beat by Marvin Hagler, Tommy Hearns was moving up. Tommy Hearns did well at moving up, but I mean, it's like he outboxes guys, but he don't knock him out like he used to when he was at 140, 147. You don't take it when, when fighters move up, they don't take their punching power with them. Remember that. When fighters move up, they don't take their punching power with them. When Floyd Mayweather was at 130, 135 and 140, what was he doing? He was uh, he used to uh, trade punches with guys. That's when they wasn't calling him a runner back then. He, he doesn't stand and fight with guys now because he doesn't have the punching power. He don't have a 147 punching power. He got the 147 boxing ability, and he don't get beat up by them guys. But when a fighter moves up in weight class, they do not take their punching power with them. Is well, look how long it took Evander Holyfield uh, to knock out Burt Cooper. Evander Holyfield was hitting Burt Cooper with everything, and Burt Cooper was still standing. Look how it was when he fought Riddick Bo. He's not a naturally big guy. They take all of them, they lift weights or take steroids or whatever, but you, when a fighter moves up in weight class, they don't take their punching power with them. And watching a guy move up, fight, fight fans want to see that because they don't know any better. But they're getting conned. That's what she read. Who, who was that? Uh, Vinny, Panzi, Vinny Panzianza moved up to fight Roy Jones. What happened? And Vinny, when Vinny first started boxing, he was 130, I think 130, 135. And uh, he got into an accident. He went straight up to 160. He looked good. His body looked good. But he didn't have the punching power. When fighters move up, they don't take their punching power with them. It's real simple. And the main, that's why when Zab Judah moved up, he moved up to 147. And he got beat by Corey Spinks. He beat Corey Spinks in a rematch. He outboxed him, then he stopped him. But he wasn't knocking him out like he did when he was knocking guys out at 140. And then he even went back down to one. He went to 147, then he went back down to 140. He didn't like 147 because he didn't have the punching power. You guys be making shit up, man. You guys don't be realizing y'all be getting caught. Y'all be getting caught. I was going to talk about, uh, what else I was talking about? Um, the fight again. Handy was like this. And every time Garcia come in, he would back up. He was backing up. How you going to back up like this? When you back up, your hands got to go up. Put your hands up. Oh, that hurt my back. <laughs> He was going back like this, putting this off right in line of fire, because I'm putting this off right in line of fire for them for Ryan Garcia leaping left hooks. Oh. <clears throat> oh. 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 I told you when a guy got a good punch, that's all he relies on. He relies on the whole fight for that punch. And Javante Davis took that ability away from him. Oh. Javante Davis took that away. When Ryan Garcia threw that leap from the boom! Boom! I saw Javante Davis. Boom, I had to switch. I told you. Back. I'm back straight up. My hands up in the back. Put your hands up. Here's put your hands up, just back straight up. Cause you're in the, like I said, you're in a line of fire. He was backing straight up. He's backing straight up, and. And he was letting uh, Garcia, Devin Haney, 
letting God, <coughs> letting God see it throw punches and he wasn't answering him back. You gotta answer him back, man. Does the guy just will on you? And you don't do shit back. You back? Hurt my hip. You get my age, everything we hurt. Fifty-seven. Like I said, he was backing up. He was, he was backing up like this. I don't know what they see Floyd doing that. Everybody try to do the shoulder roll like Floyd do. James Tony used to do it too, but James Tony stands right there in front of you. Watch when Javante Davis knocked out Ryan Garcia. He do. He touched him first. He said, "Boom!" He touched him. Like I said, you gotta touch the guy. Touch him. Up. Take it easy. 